I want you to think about that one friend who always comes to mind when someone talks about laziness. Alex, I will call him, represents laziness itself. He hates to work, he sleeps the whole day, and he's only engaging in tasks that are absolutely required. He loves shortcuts, always doing the bare minimum to get by. But here's the thing, Alex is surprisingly effective. Somehow, he always gets everything done. How? Well, Alex has mastered the art of focusing on what matters. He doesn't waste his energy. He has figured out a way on how to make small, efficient actions that lead to huge outcomes. Alex is, in fact, an undercover genius. Your brains, much like Alex, are also not designed to work at full capacity. They are not designed to work all the time. In fact, they hate to work. They sleep almost all the time. And they are only engaging in activity when it's absolutely necessary. These are things that make your brains extremely efficient. While only consuming the amount of energy in a light bulb, your brains can do things that artificial intelligence today can only dream of. Evolution has fine-tuned them to operate like this, to be lazy for over millions of years. Some experts even state that your brains are the most advanced supercomputer in the universe. Which really makes you wonder, why do artificial computers are not designed like this? Why are they not designed to operate like the brain? We are living in an exciting era for artificial intelligence an era in which advancements in AI can lead you to win Nobel Prizes, an era in which scientific publications in AI can lead entire stock markets to crash overnight, an era in which I am sure all of you have at least heard of applications like ChatGPT. What I'm not so sure is whether all of you have heard or are aware of the staggering costs that are required to operate these applications. Did you know that sources have reported that applications like ChatGPT take 700,000 US dollars per day just to operate? This is not only making artificial intelligence non-viable, but it's also destroying our planet with a tremendously high energy that it burns. AI data centers are consuming so much that their levels are reaching those of entire countries, like the UK. Experts are warning us that by 2040, if we continue along this path, all the globally produced energy will be entirely to power artificial intelligence. This is not a hypothetical scenario. This is a path that we are already in, where we will soon be living in a world where our entire purpose is just to power artificial intelligence. Do you remember the Matrix movie, where humans were connected to the grid powering artificial intelligence? Well, we are going there. This particular challenge inspired me to pursue a PhD in energy-efficient AI microchips and ultimately led me to co-found a company that redefines AI data centers by building supercomputers that are lazy, just like Alex. These supercomputers do not overwork themselves. They wait for the right moment to act only when it's strategically required. This makes them to operate with this energy proportional characteristics of the human brain. 
This technology was developed under the European flagship Human Brain Project and leverages brain inspiration to be lazy in a strategic and efficient way. This technology does not only mimic the brain, it embraces the philosophy that makes biological brains so powerful. When it comes to real-world applications, whether it is complex optimization problems in logistics, drug discovery applications, or just making these models reason more like humans, the key to these breakthroughs is that strategic laziness. Don't take my word for it. World-leading institutions are already using this technology for exactly that purpose. This is not science fiction anymore. Only a few blocks from here, at TU Dresden, lies the world's largest brain-like supercomputer, composed by millions of processing elements within this type of technology. By working with world-leading teams and visionary co-founders like Professor Christian Meyer, Professor Steve Ferber, the inventor of the ARM CPU powering more than 300 billion devices today, including your smartphones and also your MacBooks, I have learned to think more like Alex. Sometimes less really is more. I have learned that by applying this strategic laziness, we can transform the entire AI industry, make it more powerful, but also sustainable. Now, if I leave you with nothing but one thing today, I want you to remember that you have one more reason to love Dresden, because this technology that looks like it was developed in Silicon Valley, it was developed right here.